YouTube, what's going on guys? Back with another reaction video. This one is, I feel like it's good timing. I was literally just going through my timeline and one of my favorite YouTube channels popped up and it made me think about, just from looking at the thumbnail, it made me think about, hmm, if we're gonna compare last year with what's going on this year, what does it look like? And so let me show you guys real quick the thumbnail I'm talking about, this one right here. But look at this thumbnail. This is the best cordless trimmer of 2019. And look at those trimmers. What does it look like today? Like guys, this is something that came out like last week, just came out and uh, slim lines are on that thumbnail. Let's go ahead and watch this video. Like we're gonna be able to reminisce here and we'll also be able to compare these trimmers to what we have today. Let's see how much we've grown in a year that we faced a lot. And there's still new products out. Gamma released a lot of products during these times. JRL released a whole new line. Babeless did a lot of new things with their stuff. And you've seen Slimline did their thing too. With that being said, let's check this video out. I love Ron Barber, love him. One of my favorite channels, some of the best production I've seen. Hey everyone, Joseph from Ron Barber here and today we, are gonna, today we are gonna do the first video for our 2019 Barber Manufacturing Awards. And the nomination video we're going to do today is for best cordless trimmers of 2019. Hey, shout out to my guys who gave Tomb 45 the most innovative. Innovative 245. Now we're gonna run through each trimmer individually and let you know what we think about it. And at the end of this video, we're gonna give you the chance to vote for your favorite ones. But more about that later. So the first trimmer we're gonna talk about is the Gamma Plus Absolute Hitter. They were still doing numbers this year. So the Gamma Plus Absolute Hitter was released this year in 2019 and we've had it in the shop for a few months now and there are a lot of positive features to this trimmer. So I'll say this, Gamma's made a lot of improvements on this trimmer. It's gonna be interesting to see what they say about it in 2019 because they've created a whole bunch of different blades, a whole bunch of different face plates. I think they've made improvements internally, but it's definitely a better trimmer today than it was in 2019. But it's gonna be interesting to see what they said about it in 2019. I don't think I watched this video. For a pretty small trimmer, it packs a four hour runtime. It also has a black diamond carbon blade on it which prevents rust, stays cooler, and stays sharper for longer. But one of the really cool things about this trimmer in the design is the 12 different variations that you can get with the customizable lids. It was very and customizable back then. It also gives you a removable drop top there so you can use the skeleton clipper the design top. if you feel like. And when we were looking at them online before they came here, we did think they were gonna look a little bit cheap, but the build quality <laughs> is actually really good. I love the honesty. Using. Uh, there are a couple of cons with it. One of them being that little beep that goes on there. Now that beep is there to let you know that they're on and that they're off. All right, let me say this. I can understand that the beep is just one of those extra things. It's not very needed and will probably go bad after a while because this is a commercially used tool, but I liked the beep. I don't like the beep when it's dying, but there was something satisfying about pushing that button and hearing that beep. It was something satisfying about it. I liked it. I don't like it during the charging though. I always wondered why the beep went away, because I actually like that. But my main gripe with them is the name. Absolute Hitler. <laughs> I can't say that. It sounds like uh, Guy Ritchie named it uh, when he was writing his new movie or something. So I don't even use the name in the shop. So the next nominee that you guys gave us that we're gonna talk about is the Andis Cordless T Outline. <laughs> This was a trimmer that everybody was so excited for. I remember when they, they were released at the Las I think it was Bronner Brothers when they were first released. I paid $100 more than retail for these trimmers to get my hands on them. That's how big of a deal these were. This, of course, is a cordless reworking of the very popular Andis T Outliner. Uh, it comes with a really powerful rotary motor in comparison to the corded version's magnetic motor. It should just take out any bulk you're taking out with it. And I gotta say, I think that claim is true because in a lot of bulk removal that I've used this with, I've not had a problem with it at all. No snags. I think it bolts things out pretty well. Straight up. Now, as popular as the corded version of this was... The corded version were goats my go-tos. This should be just as popular, but it does come with a few of its own problems. It's not as popular. One of the main problems with it is the heat. 
these things heat up really, really fast. Now, it was very popular when Does people it? used the corded ones to skeleton them. Now, these can be skeletoned as well, but honestly, it didn't really make any difference. They still heat up really, really quickly. But there's not really been anything done to attract newer people to this. They're simply just replicating and hoping to sell another set of trimmers to the same people that were buying them before. I mean, you want that retro feel. These are legendary trimmers, right? Like we're talking about some legendary trimmers. You don't want them to go away. The worst thing you could do is what Toyota, for example, did with the Supra. I think that was a bad move i hope you guys get what i'm saying like what mustang did with the electric crossover vehicle have you guys seen that thing and they named it a mustang it's a bad idea you expected a cordless version of the corded version they did the led and this logo in the front is it perfect no and i think that he's gonna cover a, a bunch of the imperfections but i get what andis was trying to do there's been nothing to try and entice people towards buying them to put like a gold blade on there or an all black blade or an all black version that there's nothing new all right i stand corrected he's got a point about them apart from the fact that they're cordless that's it it's kind of all i example, wanted though the babylus gold Ooh. fx now it's a really good performing trimmer but that's not what attracts people to it initially it's the look of it They've made a sexy looking product. Sexy looking product. And the next nominee we're gonna talk about is the wall cordless detailer. This I thought was gonna be a way bigger deal than it was. It didn't really take off like I thought it was. But a lot of people like this blade. I don't know why it didn't take off. I don't like this blade. I just thought this trimmer was gonna do way better than it did. Don't get me wrong, it was built very well. The quality is there, the power is there, the battery life is there, but it just didn't take off like I thought it would. Now, a big company like Wool are a little bit late to the game releasing these, but they're out now, and to be honest, the performance is pretty solid with them. I have not adjusted the blades on these whatsoever, which is a miracle in this shop because everything gets taken apart. <laughs> They've gone down the road That's with a powerful lithium-ion battery with a powerful rotary motor. Also comes with a nice 38 mil wide T blade. I've probably said it on a video or two. In the well so done. Performance-wise, pretty good. Okay, so a couple of issues. First one, build quality. They do look like they might be like a solid steel, but they really don't feel like it. They actually feel kind of light and flimsy. I felt like they were built really well. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? I felt like they were built really well. I mean, that font. I hate that font. Okay, the aesthetics. The font is cheesy, but that's Wall's always been terrible with their logos and their fonts and the burgundy color. Like, it's always been pretty bad. But when we're talking about the materials and the way that everything aligns is pieced together, the molds, the tooling, it's a well-built machine. Maybe I'm looking at it from a different perspective. I don't know. They might as well have put detailer there in Comic Sans for all that look. Like, they're just like Andis replicating the same old thing that they've done before even if it had something like with the gammas now the He's gammas snapping wow. yeah i would say the gammas definitely have a better battery life definitely more customizable but the detailers i feel are built better and have more power they maybe just need to be a little bit more forward looking next nominee we're going to talk about is the Not bevel happening. trimmer the bevel is probably the sexiest trimmer ever made but it's so big it's too big aesthetically it is gorgeous functionally wise though that's the size of a clipper gorgeous gorgeous trimmer all right the music it's gorgeous we know why a certain company kind of copied them or did copy them right it's gorgeous i don't blame them the music editing We've had these in the shop for a while now. We're aware that there is a version two that has come out recently. We've not used that. Four hour runtime yeah, on yeah, these. Great runtime. And they initially came with a square blade, which we upgraded to the T blade, and that actually improved the performance of them immeasurably. Yeah. And speaking of the blade, they actually snap off, That's and dope. they are so easy to adjust because there's the a little ruler in there for zero gapping them. Now, a problem arising from this is that if you are constantly snapping these on and off, it actually weakens the seal around here. Sometimes when you're using them, the blade can fall off on its own. Now, that might be something that they've dealt with in the version two, but again, I've not used those. 
I'm just talking Great about point. the version one, and that is something that can happen with these. I haven't used the new one, but you guys tell me in the comments, did they fix it on the new ones, the new edition? I agree rubber grip around the top of them is actually really, really useful for, again, somebody really clumsy like me. Now, they are quite heavy, so if you like a lighter trimmer, probably not going to be for you because they're quite sizable in the hand as well. Now, design-wise, I really like the look of these, but with the V2s, they've also given you the option of making it all black as well, which is, again, something that a lot of other companies could be looking at doing. There can't and be a single upgrade, human being even that doesn't like, like that colorway. The V2 apparently has an eight hour runtime. Eight hour, there's not a trimmer out there that has an eight, eight hour runtime. One other little issue that we had with them is that they are very, very noisy as well. That going around your client's ears and whatnot can be quite a grind. All I'm in all, sure really they solid that. performance and design mm -hmm. from these trimmers. The next nominee in the is 2020 going to version be fixed. Andis Slimline Pro. So after all of that, all that time using all these different trimmers, if you took everything away from here except one trimmer. Look at the lineup in 2018. Look how much we've grown, guys. Look how much the industry has grown. And it hasn't grown from these companies that you get from Alibaba. It's grown from the innovation that you get from these companies right here you see in this lineup. To me, the T outliner was the best trimmer of 2018. But I got a feeling, Rum said, it's the slim lines. You can argue slim lines were the best. Interesting. And told me that was the only trimmer I could use. I'd ask you to leave me the end of Slimline Pro. Ooh, that's major. Now these versions I have here are the black ones. These have an upgraded motor in them with a lithium ion battery, a nice sleek, lightweight design as now well. We got these. these are pretty much a staple of barber shops up and down the country and around the and world. And this has made a killing off of these. battery in these give you a two hour runtime and you can use these on or mm -hmm. off the cord. So really useful tool to have in your arsenal. They don't really do bulk removal very well. And the stand is also a little bit flimsy as well. A lot of these trimmers come with much heavier stands, yeah, not very, very easy to knock stand. over. That's why you don't use the stand. You get a power clip and an expansion pad, and you don't need to use the stand anymore. The one for these, yeah, that soft breeze <laughs> will probably do them over your counter. <laughs> But yeah. bulk removal, they may not be great for. What they are good for is they're a really useful addition to your set if you're looking to do more refined, detailed work. And the last nominee we're gonna talk about is the Babilis Gold FX Trimmer. Wait, that's 2019. These are the goats of the year. You gotta introduce them the right way. Technology is getting incredible in these new things. Now there's been an awful lot of hype about these trimmers. They're very, very <coughs> popular and we were lucky enough to be able to pick up a set at the launch at CT Barber Expo back in May. Now the lithium ion battery in here gives you a runtime of up to three hours and it has a high powered brushless motor inside. Mm. But the main thing with these trimmers is the design. It also comes with a zero gapping tool which allows you to zero gap the blade on here without actually Actually removing it from the body. When these have finally run out of battery, I'm gonna need another set of these to keep going with while these ones set on charge. Another thing is that you definitely need to adjust them. Really, really, really good performance all around. So that's it. That's all the nominees for best cordless trimmers 2000. Is this just nominees? And what you need to do to pick your favorite trimmer is go to Oh, no, nah, we got to find out who the winner was. I'm pretty sure it was the Skeletons, but the Skeletons, at least from my perspective, they've definitely improved. They've gotten quieter. They've been more powerful. The battery definitely has gotten better. They've made their improvements. All right, I guess they did it all in one. Now, Let's unlike all the other categories, which had a clear winner at the very end, in this category, the winner was decided by a handful of votes between three separate trimmers. To the third place and the Slimline, our personal favorite from last year and second place the gamma absolute hitter so those were close to the babyless trimmers let me know in the comments below do you think that those two trimmers were close to the babyless trimmers maybe i didn't use the other two as much as i should have that year and the winner was the babyless gold fx all right guys this video is running a little longer than i expected shout out to Ron barber they always do amazing content make sure you subscribe to their channel i'll put the link to their channel in the description below and with that being said, guys, we're doing daily content on this channel. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. It really makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm working and I'm seeing some results. So please do subscribe, smash the like button, all that good stuff. I will see you guys on the next video.